China, the world's second largest economy, is home to the largest population in the world. But in recent years, one issue has become a key public concern, air pollution. Well, that's the situation in Beijing, which is facing another smoggy day, air quality was. However, things have started to change. In 2017, many cities across China saw the bluest skies they've had in five years. Compared to 2013, the average PM 2.5 and PM 10 levels saw a dramatic decrease. So why has the air quality improved so much and so quickly? In winter, much of pollution is caused by coal-fired stoves used for heating. A local government campaign has been phasing out coal-fired stoves in Beijing and surrounding areas since 2003. And I've come here to Qingchang village, 50 kilometers away from central Beijing, to see what's changed. Let's go have a look. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Wow, <laughs> 55-year-old Yao Chaoyou has been living here all his life. Like many of the villagers here, Yao's family would burn coal to keep warm in winter. Coal stoves have been traditionally used for heating by millions of Chinese people for generations. To make the air clean in China's smog-prone northern region, coal-fired stoves are being mass-replaced with electric or natural gas boilers. The coal to electricity conversion is a large scale operation. Government subsidies make the electricity price much cheaper during night when heating is most used. And to deal with any technical problems and emergency responses, more than 1,000 special workers have been assigned to Beijing's suburban villages. Li Jianming, who works at the state grid Beijing Electric Power Company, is one of them. By the end of 2017, over 4.7 million households in 28 cities had made the switch from coal-fired stoves. 1.1 million households in Beijing alone have completed the energy conversion. These measures mean the coal use will be slashed by nearly 4.2 million tonnes this winter. That's about the total coal output made by the UK in 2016. China is the world's largest automobile market, which is good for business. But exhaust fumes and vehicles have been one of the main causes of air pollution, especially in big metropolises like Beijing. To tackle the problem, the Chinese government has been making a strong push for green transport, encouraging the use of, for example, new energy vehicles. Sun Wei is an office worker. He bought an NEV two years ago, soon after he got a job in Beijing. So, what exactly made you buy this new energy vehicle? Uh, the new energy vehicle is becoming a new fashion. It's not only environment friendly, it's saved me a lot of money. The government has a plenty of policies to encourage consumers to buy and drive the new energy vehicles. So you mentioned the policies. What exactly are these policies? Uh, if you buy a new energy vehicle, then you don't have to go through the lottery style bidding system when you're trying to get a license plate. Another one is tax exemption. When I bought this car, I got uh, 66,000 RMB. Well, that's, that's quite a lot, but um, even though there's lots of advantages, it seems, surely it's still quite annoying to charge the car and to find a place for it and all these kinds of things, no? Oh, uh, no, not at all. It's very, very convenient.
this area they has the high speed charging station. So how about we go take a cup of coffee and after you come back, should be ready to go. Really? That quickly? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I think I might get one of these myself actually. I'll give you some recommendations. Oh right, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. To meet the growing demand for NEVs, infrastructure has been catching up. China had installed 214,000 public charging spots for new energy vehicles by the end of 2017, the most for any country worldwide. That figure marked an increase of 51% year on year. Private vehicles aside, public transportation has also become greener. Government departments are also being directed to buy more NEVs. China's mass conversion from coal to electricity and the increasing prevalence of electric vehicles means a huge call for power. But how can China meet the increasing demand? China relies on coal for 60% of its power. It consumes over 3 billion tonnes of coal every year, accounting for over half the world's total. So it's vital for China and the world that it uses coal in a green and sustainable way. Over the past five years, China made 68% of its coal-fired power plants undergo what's known as an ultra-low emission transformation. This has meant China is fast becoming the world's largest clean coal-fired power provider. We're in Tianjin Binhai New Area, about 150 kilometers from Beijing. And behind me is one of the most advanced coal-fired plants in the whole of China. Here coal is burnt more efficiently and cleanly to generate power. This power plant belongs to a state-owned power generation, Huaneng Group. It uses IGCC, a clean coal technology. As such, the plant is the first of its kind in a developing country and is currently the only one in China. Wang Xiangping is a senior engineer at the plant. He has been working here since 2008, when construction had just begun. For him, the industry represents the future of environmental protection. IGCC和传统的燃煤发电是燃烧的是煤 IGCC plants are also fueled by coal, but the emissions are almost the same as those of a natural gas power plant. Its sulfur dioxide emissions are only one-tenth of those of a conventional coal-fired power plant, and its dust and nitrogen oxide emissions are only one-fifth. There's also special treatment for carbon dioxide. Instead of being released directly into the air and contributing to global warming, Carbon dioxide is collected by a Carbon Capture and Storage System, or CCS, with some surprising news for it later. This as well as making its coal-fired power more sustainable, China has been actively developing its new energy sector. The country has already surpassed the US in becoming the world's biggest consumer of renewable energy. China's reliance on coal-based power is also set to fall to below 50% by 2030. I think we see a very, very rapid improvement of the air in Beijing and by the way many other Chinese cities as well. Uh, from the combination of the public awareness, people really want to see a cleaner air and city and national authorities really taking action. As the largest developing country, China knows its due responsibility and works hard to comply with the Paris Agreement. By implementing these strict measures, China is not only fighting its own battle against pollution, it's also making a key contribution to tackling global climate change. <laughs>